bald-headed nerd here. Had to shave my head because I'm getting into an MMA fight in the following couple weeks, which is not true. 269-year-old nerds don't get into MMA fights, but they do shave their heads. Close to it, anyway. I'm going to answer a question that was put to me. I put out a video that about four people watched. How should freelance developers partner with web designers? This video is not about that. This video is answering this question, which I'm going to read from the YouTubes. Steph, I've watched quite a lot of your videos, and it seems that the freelance business you propose is mainly about knowing tools, software, setting up a WordPress site, prototyping, design software skills, hosting, finding, communicating with clients, etc., rather than coding. I guess coding as a freelance catering to small, medium-sized companies is about maybe 5% of the, of the time. No, I didn't mean to misrepresent that. Not at all. In my own freelancing career, coding was 97% of the time. All I was just pointing out is that to get your feet wet when you first get into the game with very little training, you can get into the whole WordPress game and, and you know, prototyping, all this kind of simple stuff, uh, setting up their hosting, et cetera, et cetera, excuse me, without having to be a full-fledged developer. It's a quick way to get into the whole freelance game because you can move from, for example, setting up and installing, configuring WordPress you can slowly get into setting up, installing plugins for WordPress, writing plugins for WordPress, getting into developing shopping carts, employing shopping carts for people. You get the idea. Two, you know, once you've developed more and more skills, you can get into writing custom apps from scratch as well. In my own career, it was mostly custom app building, but I was just providing a quick way to start making money. And the fact of the matter is, is that there's such a huge demand for WordPress and all this kind of stuff. It's just a quick way to get going, right? Some people may need to be able to start making money within 30 days, 45 days. So this is what I talk about this. It's not binary, meaning just because you start off doing WordPress sites and uh, you know even implementing a Wix site or something like that or putting in a Shopify thing for somebody, just because you start there, and you start developing your freelance skills doing that, doesn't mean that's the end of the road. That's all you're going to do. No, you can quickly find yourself actually building custom apps. It's, it's, it's a guarantee. I can almost guarantee it. So uh, I didn't mean to convey that uh, meaning to you. No, not at all. I just, again, it's just a quick way to jump into the game. He continues, I actually do not find much pleasure in these things and would much rather like to code at least 50% or more to earn money. Is it possible, and more importantly, how to earn money with coding as a freelancer, or do you have to do the WordPress gr grind? Thanks. By the way, I don't mean to find work on freelancer sites like Upwork. Again, um, I think I answered that question. You just got to get yourself out there, start building reputation, make sure you put up a really nice site that represents your freelance business, and you'll find that the opportunities will come. You just got to get your name out there, and you just got to get some clients going. And as I said, this, the whole WordPress thing is just a way to get your foot into the door. You may not necessarily have to do it. I'm considering, I'm going back, way back in time, way back, and I think my first freelance gig wasn't software, it was actually web design. But in those days, web design is a lot about these real code, simple code. There was functionality, it sort of touched onto a web app. Now this is back in the 90s, so you know, what a web app was then versus now is a whole different thing. Anyway, so there you go, yeah. So don't get that misconception. I'm just providing a quick route to get in the door. Again, my philosophy is very different from what a lot of uh, aspiring developers and programmers think th the way it is. The, the way it is to get into the game is you gotta start writing real projects as quickly as possible. You're not gonna hit the ground building Facebook from the ground one. You're gonna start doing little gigs here and there. In fact, my, <laughs> now that I think about it, apparently Zuckerberg had done a bunch of little projects here and there 
uh, writing PHP apps and PHP uh, before he actually started writing uh, Facebook. So again, it's like fighting. If you're going to learn to fight, you're not going to train and train and hit the hit the pads and then jump in the ring for fight the world title. You start with the easy opponents. You got to get in the ring and start doing the little the little jobs. And the WordPress and all this kind of stuff is just the little jobs. Consider it a stepping stone. If you know how to write apps, then you may be able to jump ahead. You know, you may be able to, be able to put yourself out there as a custom app developer and do that. Now, the only re another advantage of sort of doing the low-hanging fruit stuff, the WordPress or the small business sites or the implementations, etc., it's a way to quickly develop reputation. Think about it. If you're a, uh, a small business owner and you're willing to spend willing to spend 25, 50, 100,000, a quarter million dollars on a small project, are you going to want to put that money on some guy who has no track record whatsoever? On the other hand, if you come to, and you find a guy, perhaps yourself, where you can list a whole bunch of clients, and maybe a bunch of those clients were just WordPress installs and configurations, maybe theme changing, you know, some of them could have been small projects here and there. The point is, they're going to see a track record of you doing business. And they say, ah, this guy's reliable. Look at all his clients, you know. And then you can show your skills and bing, bang, boom, Bob's your uncle. So think about that as well. Something I always emphasize in my videos, that uh, nerds have to understand that to be successful in the game, it's not just about code. It's about reputation. It's about communications. This kind of thing comes in super, super handy as well. So I hope I answered that question. Bye-bye.